Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Hey, Heather. And Heather, say hello Heather. Hello. Um, today is Wednesday, the 10th, the 10th of October, 2018. Also, yesterday was Kendall's birthday. Since yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, yesterday was Kendall's birthday. She just turned 17. And Eddie and Heather will be 17 on the 29th. So, time is going fast. But as you can see, we're filling up the, uh, the tank. The tank was lower than I wanted it to be. So we turned on the generator, and it's 120 volts, is, uh, or 120 watts, is what it takes with filling up the, uh, the tank. So we got that water flowing now. There's somebody on a motorcycle. I think it's probably the neighbor. I think so. Okay, good news, she's not going in here. Well, it can still be pulling in the other driveway. Uh, Eddie went out that way. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> we both stopped for like, are we going to stop the video or not, or what? Right, right. So anyway, so we're filling up the water tank. We'll, I'll bring it up above. I'm going to bring it down here so you can see again. Where the hose is right here, I'll let the water fill up past that, and then that way, you got one leaf fell in there, you can see the leaf. So when the water gets higher, we'll grab that and get that out of there. But uh, yeah, it's a thousand gallon. Oh, there goes another leaf, damn it. Oops, oh, now I gotta start oh, it over. No, I, no, it's okay. I swore though, it's not good. Uh, dang it, it's not gonna end the line. It wasn't dang it. I know it wasn't, but still. Okay. People, they're grown ups. They All can right. handle a single square word. All right, well, so anyway, now I have two leaves that we have to get out of there. At least they're right together. Yeah, they're, they're buddies. They're hanging they're out. We're in this together. That's right. All right, so uh, another, let me show you, the sun's over here, but partly cloudy day, but real nice day. We've pulled in 2.9 kilowatt hours. So um, let me show you on the generator what we got going with this. So, okay, so first of all, let me show you what we got here. Let's do it sorry, from right over here. Here is the cord that's hooked into the well pump. Okay, so we just got a regular plugged into an outlet. Everything is covered by the leaves. Yeah, everything is covered by leaves. We're gonna rake some leaves up today, actually. I know more will just take their place tomorrow, but that's okay. So over here it's at 120 volts now in the spring when it's really really wet I generally don't have to fill it up at all uh, a lot of times what I what I do is like especially in the spring I'll leave it on for like a minute turn it off and then just because there's so much water it just fills up the rest of the way on its own but now since we're later in the season and it's been pretty dry I mean, we've had some rain. We had the four or five days of rain in a row, but uh, not enough to really get into the ground and, and, and saturate it enough to, uh, to make a difference. We'll just let that fill up on its own. Okay, so Hurricane Michael, Category 4, hitting the panhandle today. Um, I hope everybody's safe down there. I hope the people that should have got out got out. Somebody had asked me a question, and I wanted to address it. They said... Well, if you're prepped, why would you leave? In my reply to them, I replied to that comment. I said, if it's a life-threatening situation, you should leave. I mean, that's, you know, that's just part of being smart with that whole situation. Uh, if your life is in danger, if you're right on the coast and they're talking about 13-foot swells and 150-mile-an-hour winds, I think that's a situation that, you know, if you have the opportunity to leave and someplace to go, then you should do it, okay? So somebody else had asked a question about my beard here. I started growing my winter beard. So yes, I am growing my winter beard. Uh, last year, I trimmed this all the way down and then started growing it like the 15th of November. And this year I said, you know what, I'm gonna start at October 1st and uh, see what it turns into. So uh, that's what I did. I started October 1st. So on the side here, it's what, 10 days? So. It grows pretty quick, so. But anyway, so yeah, that's I'm getting my winter face on. 
because we get uh, kind of cold up here. So all I wanted, I wanted to have my beard. And uh, so anyway, that's that's what's happening with that. But uh, we got the apples. We still got to can the apples. Like I said, all these leaves, I want to get the kids out here. We're going to get some of this raked up and get these leaves into the garden because there is a lot of leaves down already. And there's still more to go. Let me show you. I mean, like this tree here has pretty much got most of, of its leaves gone. So is that one. But you get a lot of these other trees are still have a lot of leaves. The maples will be the last ones uh, to, to drop their leaves. So... And it's filling up, filling up pretty quick. So, just keep an eye on that. But uh, yeah, so that's what that's what's happening. Just uh, this is going to be the last nice day. Tomorrow we're supposed to have rain all day. It's supposed to still be 70 tomorrow. It's in the 70s today, and then they're talking about like a high in the 50s, I think, for Friday in like low of 30s that night so like I said I think Friday we're going to be collecting the uh, whatever's left of the peppers and get them in and that's going to be it it on the garden I'll, I'll finish breaking down the rest of that garden as well but uh, you know that's it's what it is uh, I got a few phone calls out right now I got some stuff in the works and I'll explain that all to you as that comes to fruition you know so we'll see what happens with all that I uh, should be getting my car back tomorrow I think I talked about that in yesterday's video. So, hopefully. <laughs> oh, and uh, so let's talk about Legacy real quick. So today's the 10th. You have five days left of the sale. There, It's 35% off selected items. If you go to my website, PrepperNurse1.com, you will see those items are right there on the main page. If you're interested in saving, I know they're bigger ticket items. Okay, I know that. But the thing is, if you break down the cost of it, and then have 35% off on top of it, it definitely makes it a lot more cost effective. The bigger packages you get, the more cost effective it is anyway. But the way I look at it, like if you if you have the money to do it and you buy that one time purchase bigger ticket item, you're gonna have a whole lot of food that can last you for quite a while. So uh, in that way, it's well worth it. And especially with the 35% off, uh, your, your cost is even less per meal if you break it down what the cost would be. So there's five packages available. If you're interested, please feel free. Go over there check it all out. So there's Miss Heather. So there's been a lot of talk, Miss Heather. Uh, about, yes, about, you know, with the test and missing the test. I know. Oh it happens. And that's what I, you know, and a lot of people have been very, very supportive. A couple people, not so much, but that's going to happen. Of course, always. There's always a few dissenters, mm -hmm. but that happens. Um, anyway, like I told them, on the channel and you know as you well know you weren't meant to take it at that time mm -hmm. you're going to take it again in November it's like and it, 1270 the first time it's not terrible right she got a good score the first time she got 1270 the first time uh, her brother which we talked with him he had 1140 the first time he took it and then he got 1280 the second time and he had a calculator yes <laughs> so i know that heather's going to put up a really good score when she takes this test in November My whole worry was the whole scholarship thing but Right, her Heather's worry was about the scholarship thing, but I don't, I don't think that they're not going to say, "Oh, wait a minute, you scored X, Y, Z the second time you took it." They're, they're still going to look at that. Mm -hmm. They will. Yeah, it's all about the story and the kind of compelling life story. Which you do. Yeah. And, uh, but you know, like I said, and you've worked very, very hard, mm -hmm. and uh, this young lady is going to change the world one day. Mm -hmm. You know, so she's going to go places, which is good. We just got to hope, guys, unless I'm going to put this right out here right now, that she doesn't go off to college and become a bleeding heart liberal, because then I will have to suffocate her with a pillow. And dye my hair bright orange. And, yes, right. I'm covered in tattoos. Oh, I would Maybe. kill you. A couple tattoos are okay, but we already talked about where those should be. And who's to say I'm going to listen? Well, you, if you were smart, you will listen to your father. Mm -hmm. But I can't tell you no to get tattoos, though. So if I'm paying for it, you can't say anything. This is true. Once, you, once you're 18. Yeah. So at least we have another year. Mm -hmm. But no, so now she will do fine. I have no doubt about that at all. Uh, you know, so once she graduates in June, I know college will be before we know it. The time is going to fly. 
But she, we're definitely going to have to do a whole video if I get matched or not with this whole quest break. Absolutely. So. Yes. Yes, we will. We will definitely do that. We also have a video back in the in the books and um, a question and answer for Heather. So we're I think we're going to put that pull that out here in a, a day or two so you guys can ask her some questions about herself and living off grid and all those good things. Okay? So anyway, so that is it for now. Oh, so you got to show them the t-shirt. See what it says so oh. they they can see what it says. Tell your boyfriend to stop calling me. It's yeah. Boop. Like it's Betty Boop. Boop, yes. So, it's just a fun t-shirt. Yeah, thrift store for like $2. Exactly. She always gets those thrift store deals. That's the way to go. All right, guys. So, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. We really don't. So, it's real important to stay focused, you know, um, and, and tell the people that you care about that you care. And like I said, family is not always blood. It's who completes you, who supports you, um, and not just supporting you financially, but is there for you emotionally and stuff like that as well. The saying is, blood of the covenant is thicker than water of the womb. This is true. It's a full quote, not just blood is thicker than water. There's right. more to it. Right. So anyway, uh, remember STD is one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. So stay focused. You guys will be great. And... Uh, I will see you all tomorrow and say, Heather, say goodbye. Goodbye. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. And Heather. And Heather.